All right, now we've been talking about weather, and part of weather is tornadoes. So today we're going to be learning a little bit about tornado safety. So first let's talk about how can you tell if there's going to be a tornado? Well, there might be some dark gray clouds. It might be raining. Or there may be some hail, which if you remember, hail is frozen balls of ice falling from the sky. But the biggest clue is as to whether or not there's a tornado is if the tornado sirens are going off and you can hear them. Now they sound different depending on where you are, so the ones outside will sound different from the ones in the school. But what can you do when you hear the tornado sirens? Well, if you're at your house, you want to go to the lowest part of your home. That means the part that's closest to the ground. But if you have a basement, which is under the ground, that's where you should go because underground is best. But if you don't have a basement, you want to choose a room with no windows in it. Because remember, tornadoes are really strong winds and they might blow things through the window and break it, which is not safe. A bathroom is a good choice or a closet because these rooms usually do not have windows. So that's where you would go if you were at home. But what if you're at school when the tornado sirens go off? Well, if you're at school, a teacher will help you. You will line up with your friends quietly and walk to the basement of the school. Now, our school does have a basement. Not every school does, but our school does, and that is our safe space. And when you get to the basement, you're going to get in your turtle position, which we have talked about before. But it, your turtle position has three steps. Step one, you're going to get on your knees. Step two, you're going to put your forehead on the floor. And step three, you're going to cover your head with your hands to protect your brain. And now you look like a turtle in a shell. The next important part is that when a teacher calls your name, you're going to say here in a strong voice so that way they know they didn't lose you. And a teacher will tell you when it is safe to sit up.